Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about that big subject, why I don't feel like I'm enough. Why I get thrown off that experience when I finally start to feel like I can trust I'm enough and then I'm afraid to keep it or I'm afraid to feel like everything's okay or I'm afraid that there's this constant threat on me claiming my own power. What is that about? I'm gonna describe it in this video and give you some tips on how to shift this now. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the little subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. I also just wanna mention the join button. I have about 20 people I need to mention in my next video, so please stay tuned to that. So every time you join, you get mentioned in the video. There's a whole other slew of perks, so please read about that below. But for the purpose of this video, let's dive right into not enoughness. I was just talking with a client earlier today, which actually inspired this video. She is incredible, like all of my clients are. She's incredible, she's wise, she's beautiful, she's accomplished, and she feels like she's not enough. Does it sound familiar? When we feel like this, it's directed towards an inner wound. So, you know, my whole thing is about doing the inner work, but what is the inner work? The inner work means finding out why nothing externally is actually filling that internal wound, that internal emptiness, that internal insecurity that you know yourself doesn't even make sense anymore at some point, but you still feel it and you still have these coping mechanisms in place that kind of trigger subconsciously to sort of push you away from that inner wound, that inner feeling that gets triggered. So with this client I was seeing this morning, she was telling me about how she started to really heal she started to really appreciate and see herself as pretty brilliant and really passionate. And she's enjoying this new feeling, but she's getting really triggered because this feeling is scary to her. Feeling like everything's okay feels weird, feels scary. And here's why. She told me about three times last week where she got re-triggered. Now here's what happens, you guys. When we start to do the healing work, we start to notice that the triggers come in harder. And a lot of us oftentimes think that that's because the universe or something out there is trying to tell us that we don't really deserve to feel this enoughness, this goodness, but that's not true. What's actually happening is we're going to the next level. We're graduating. When you graduate from high school, you take big tests, right? So you're graduating to the next level in spiritual world reality, you need to take the test. And what the test feels like is this main trigger that you think you just got over is coming up in your face to be reminded of it. But really what's happening is you're being asked to pass the test. Use and apply what you've just learned. Use and what you've applied. So what does that mean? Well, for my client, she has just learned that she is brilliant and passionate but her old trigger keeps popping up so what did it look like well it looked like a family member making a comment about the way she looked and was not really approving of the way that she looked and that really triggered her and I asked her what does that trigger say and she said it made me feel like I'm not enough like I'm not good enough for my aunt my aunt thinks that I should look different then another trigger that week was her superior at work saying something that wasn't even really what she was saying, but the perception of what she was saying was similar. I'm not doing this fast enough. I might not be enough. There's a fear that she might not approve of me. So those were two of the three examples. There was another one very similar. You get the point. And I said to her, do you see the pattern here? You are looking for external approval. For some reason, the opinions of these people are stronger than the opinion you just shared with me about yourself. Your opinion of yourself is you are brilliant and passionate and you're loving it, but these two out, outer external opinions are pulling you off your own truth. What is the test? 
The test is to feel enough based on my own opinion of myself. And why can't I do that? Why can't I know I'm enough without everyone around me validating that? Why is this such a big issue? I will tell you why. It goes back to my number one tool, self-validation. You have not validated yourself as an authority on yourself. You still think other people know you more than you do. Why is that? Wow, right? Why is it that I know I'm enough or I feel I'm enough, but I'm afraid to feel safe in that because it keeps getting pulled away from me because I keep giving my power to opinions over my own? What about my opinion isn't as important as theirs? Self-trust. Wow. I don't trust myself that what I think about myself is accurate. So when our self-trust isn't rooted, our wounds are going to be active. Self-trust is the key to ending these patterns. I go back to my own life and I think, gosh, I used to have a similar thing to my client. I used to feel like I deserved the things that were coming to me. And then if anyone else outside of me that I thought was worthy of an opinion of me would have a different opinion, I'd be thrown right off my game. And oftentimes what happens is we punish ourselves or we go into patterns of making sure we're enough. Instead of being just authentic and knowing we're enough, we go into patterns of perfection or patterns of whatever. So many different patterns I talk about, right? What's your pattern of having to prove something rather than knowing something? It's huge and it's big. So to feel enough, this is what it takes. We need to have the courage to trust our opinion over the opinions of others, and it hurts and it's scary. But when you do it, when you stay with yourself, regardless of other people's opinions, you'll start to notice that you start to trust yourself to stay with yourself. And when you stay with yourself and you constantly tell yourself over and over and over again, I actually am enough, even if they don't think so, it feels better to me to believe so. What have I got to lose? Oh, I'll be proven wrong? Well, then I can do some work on myself. Then I can love myself. Then I can remind myself that my achievements and my image and opinions and all these external things are not my truth. They are not my worth. Your achievements and your image and your looks and your ideal, all these things are not your real. Your real is when you come back home to yourself and you say, regardless of what anyone else thinks, I remember that I'm lovable. I remember that I'm valuable. I remember that I have worth in this world. And because, for no other reason, I was born, and maybe you haven't found your purpose yet, but it's in there. You won't find it if you're living your life according to external opinions. You will find it if you come inside and start to listen to your inner guidance and your intuition and listen to that part of yourself that says, I think I am brilliant. I think I am passionate. I think I am lovable. I think I am beautiful regardless of societal standards or other people's ideals. What are your reels? This is how we find our enoughness. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Please check the links below. Inner work is ongoing. My group coaching, my monthly membership, my other stuff, all below. Please check it out and share this video if you feel someone else needs to hear it today. Love you guys and see you soon.